this is our wee project for today. As you can see, this is the original tarmac whenever we arrived at this house and it's old and it's tired and it we've dropped paint on it and we're going to try and revive it. So we've got the uh, the entrance driveway blocked off with a motorbike and Ben's car just to make sure nobody backs in or drives in or anything else over this and you can see uh, as I come up here the uh, the new tarmac and the the, the difference you know it's it's uh, only laid down about a year and it looks looks pretty good and then you compare it to the older tarmac which is as I say rough and tired so what do you put over it what 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 do you do what kind of stuff do you paint on this well the best stuff that I have come across and this is recommended there's our other gear ready this is the best stuff here it's a Thompson's Quick Drying Drive Seal revives tarmac drives and it dries in four hours. It resists oils and fuel stains and it is slip resistant. And this tin, five litre tin, costs around about 20, 22 or 20 pounds to 25 pounds depending on where you buy it. You might even get it cheaper. Might get it for eighteen fifty somewhere, and this is all the the bump about it. And this is particularly hard to come by. Um, you probably will, you know. We tried B and Q, we tried home base, and we tried the range, and B and Q and the range were totally sold out. And it, the, the bio told me the bio was in the in those. Uh, Stores told me it just went like hot cakes. You, you know, they showed me the empty shelf where it, it is normally displayed. Very, very popular stuff, especially in this lockdown period. People wanting to do their driveways. Um, so I recommend going to uh, building suppliers. We got this from McNaughton and Blur's building su uh, suppliers. So make sure that your driveway is as clean as possible. You know, you don't want you don't want to kill yourself, but clean as possible of leaves and and soil and anything else, stones. And here's a bit that we did as a trial the other day. I might even go over that actually. So hopefully it'll turn out as well as that and it'll cover over some of my um, uh, little mistakes where I, I uh, spilled, spilled paint. <laughs> Her indoors was not too impressed by this as you can imagine. So this is our project for today. Thompson's quick drying driveway seal and it is black, it is not clear, you don't want it clear. Hopeful that the rain will stay off, you don't want to be doing this in the rain. Now the weather forecast was for rain, we got rain last night, but uh, rain was forecast yesterday and it was very gloomy in the morning and it, it cheered up by the afternoon so hopefully it'll be the same thing today. We we'll find the best method is not to even to use a, a paint tray but to, just simply to pour this stuff on because otherwise it's not going to get in to these areas here 
So if you pour it on, it's, it certainly will. It is, uh, the, the paint actually is an awful lot, the paint is an awful lot more runnier than what um, I thought it would be. Um, so that surface there, and it hasn't been, you know, we can see areas in between the, the hard tarmac that aren't done. We're going to have to go over that, and the way that you'll go over that is whenever it's all dry, if you simply use a brush like this and brush it into those uh, cracks and holes. Um, I, I didn't. I thought the paint would last out an awful lot longer than, it, than it's doing. I didn't think it would be so um, so dry. But such is life. Never used this stuff before. And if we get this whole driveway, each of these uh, paint tins is about twenty-five quid. If we get this whole driveway done, this section of the driveway done for you know buy about six tins, maybe maybe eight. You know, you're still getting it done for 200 quid, and we are providing the labour, so 200 quid to get your driveway uh, revived, you know, that's the way it goes. It's just like water. And then, and you, you brush it on. And if you pour it on, it goes down into the holes. So one wee bit at a time. It is painstaking, and we, we are handicapped here because we've got uh, only short roller uh, handles. Um, need a longer roller handle. So it's, uh, it is back breaking. But if you do each wee bit at a time, and you do it well, then you won't have to redo it, or patch it. And we're, we're taking a break for lunch. So that's what we've uh, roughly covered with two tins and it'll have to be patched up because there's areas you know that are showing through like over here that haven't been properly covered and there's a bit of white paint showing through there and of course we have to do all the edging don't want to splash paint up, uh, black paint up the walls. So that's as much as we've done. But it is covering well. Good afternoon. This is day two of our driveway uh, sealant paint, and uh, we've got this much to do. We've got two more tins. We ran out of paint. Um, and it was extremely difficult to get hold of uh, in this lockdown. Uh, B and Q, uh, screw fix, home base, uh, the range had none. But we managed to lay our hands on, on two more tins, and if need be, there'll be three more tins. So, itsy bitsy or whatever it is, let's get busy. Izzy wizzy, let's get busy. <laughs> and this has taken another three hours to do this bottom portion. And we've gone through five tins already for this area here. And we need to do down each side. And about the top there, and be careful of the white walls. And there are areas that need attention, like here, where the original tarmac is showing through. So it'll take another tin, so that'll be six tins, six tins at £20 each. 
well, 25 pound each actually. And I had to get new rollers as well. But it does revive the driveway. It looked rubbish before. It looked really tired. That area over there looks as if it hasn't been done at all, but it's drying out. But it might, might need a wee bit of further attention. But this is how far we are. We're taking a rest tomorrow. Uh, I'll do the, the touching, touching up uh, around the sides. Edging is particularly difficult. You don't want to splash your white paint work, your masonry paint. So what you do is you get a piece of uh, stiff cardboard even that would do the job. Um, I have a bit of insulation here and you paint along the bottom end of it and you simply paint as close to the edge as you can. It's This uh, driveway seam is very very watery so you just do this action here and you get a reasonable result. You maybe not get right into the, the wall. You, you do as best you can. And this is the driveway after its first coat. Um, well, I don't think I'll give it another coat. I'll just, I'll just patch it. Um, we did do a wee bit of edging last night. But there's, there's areas here that we need to, um, you know, redo on the actual tarmac. Um, that's as close to the wall as you're going to get. Uh, this area down here doesn't even appear to have been done, but it was done. Just can't quite understand why this here it's quite dark above it, but this area down here doesn't seem to have been done at all. But anyway. The, the, the driveway is an awful lot better than it was previously, so just a, a bit of patching and finishing off uh, just close, close to the edge here, and it's 100% better.